Hello, Property Navigators. Luke Spiron here from Property Navigation. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the heart of Ipswich. Now, you might have heard about Ipswich's less than stellar reputation with socioeconomic issues and an abundance of renters over homeowners. Now, indeed, a handful of suburbs are still areas to approach with caution. However, it's crucial to note that the face of Ipswich is rapidly changing, making way for a more vibrant and prosperous community that's ripe with potential for investors who know where to look. What's driving this transformation, you may ask? One major factor is the soaring property prices in regions like Logan, Moreton Bay and the Redlands. Now, this search has redirected the gaze of many aspiring homeowners and investors towards Ipswich igniting a wave of growth that we can expect will gain momentum in the lead up to the 2032 Olympic Games. So let's peel back the layers of Ipswich and understand why it's becoming an attractive investment destination. Now, where's the gold mine in the Ipswich region? And I'm not talking about the underground mines, I'm talking about the suburbs you want to look at. Now let's navigate this together. Now Bressel is a sprawling suburb of Ipswich. Now it's a gem waiting to be discovered. With the train line to the south, and the M2 to the north, it's connected, it's convenient, and it's on the cusp of a significant growth cycle. You might drive around this suburb and be surprised to know that the owner-occupier level is just over 50%. This tells us one thing, there's a fantastic opportunity brewing here for investors. As more and more homeowners are attracted to this vibrant suburb, we expect to see an exciting increase in property values. And for investors who are in this at the right time, the returns could be quite impressive. Now, over the past decade, Brussels' average growth has been a robust 6.3% per annum. But in the last 12 months, we've seen a slight dip of about 0.7%. But don't let that scare you off, because in the investing world, such lulls often present the best opportunities to get into the market. Now, Raceview is another star of the Ipswich skyline. Snuggled right next to the ever-popular Flinders View and close to the bustling $1.5 billion Ripley Estate master plan, Raceview is well positioned for growth. The location is exceptional, with the Cunningham Highway to the south and potential for more rail transport on the horizon. This suburb has grown 6.6% per annum on average over the past decade, but the recent growth has dropped 0.4%. Now this relative calm in the market is an invitation to investors seeking a solid entry point into a suburb that is posed for both short-term and long-term capital gain. Now let's not forget about Bellbird Park. This is our third suburb that we'll suggest for you today. Now this suburb holds the crown for the highest proportion of owner occupiers to renters out of all of our top three at a row past 57.4%. Now, Bellbird Park is buzzing with demand, but current stock levels are running low. Now, this surge isn't showing signs of slowing down anytime soon. One key reason is its proximity to the new master planned Springfield Lakes area and the convenience of the M2 and the Cunningham Highway. With the Mammoth Orion Shopping Centre less than just 10 minutes away, it's no wonder this suburb is in high demand. In the past 10 years, Bellbird Park has shown a sturdy growth of 6.6% per annum, with the last 12 months seeing a slight rise of about 0.4%. Now investors, this is your chance to dive into a market that is ripe with growth potential. Just make sure to keep an eye on the market as you don't want to miss the moment when it starts to cool. In the game of property investing, timing is absolutely everything. And right now, Ipswich is presenting a world of opportunities. Now, it's important to remember that every area, no matter how promising, comes with its own set of challenges. And Ipswich is absolutely no exception. Let's navigate through some of these together. Firstly, let's talk about underground mining. Ipswich has certain zones and areas that were affected by this in the past, causing some damages to properties when the underground mines have caved in. However, don't let this deter you. By examining the mining maps available on the council's website, you can make an informed decision and avoid these trouble spots altogether. Number two, flooding is another concern, but again, you're not in this alone. The council's website provides comprehensive flood mapping, giving you the tools to step side these flood prone areas. Lastly, 
black soil. Yes, it's an issue across some suburbs in Ipswich. And we have a running joke in our office about those rare timber paling fences that somehow remain standing in these areas because when you drive around, you see more fences that are leaning and fallen over than what you do that are still standing. Probably a cool job to get into if you're looking for a market. Anyways, it's crucial to assess the foundation of any properties you're considering in these locations. This way, you can ensure they haven't been adversely affected by this soil type. While these limitations may seem daunting at first, with the right tools and resources, they can easily be navigated. The most important thing to do is your research. Stay informed and understand that every location has its unique hurdles. By understanding these challenges, you're already one step ahead in the property investment game. Remember, every challenge is an opportunity in disguise. Are you ready to uncover yours in Ipswich? Before you set sail on the property journey, make sure to navigate and hit the subscribe button for property navigation, your compass in the world of property investment. Until next time, happy property navigating.